Hi guys, welcome back to Fairest Tutorials. Now, we're still on content three of the food, nutrition, and health syllabus. And we're looking at diet-related health problems, also classified as lifestyle disease and also non-communicable disease. Now, but for today's disease, I want you to look at this picture right here. And can you guess which disease today's session is about? Well, I know that you're seeing uh, some red blood cells there. Could you tell which their related health problems is has a connection with our blood? Yes, you got it right. We're looking at iron deficiency anemia. Stay tuned. <laughs> we explore today's topic I want you to think about all the things that you already know about iron deficiency anemia is it the first that you're hearing this term do you know of anyone who has uh, anemia now if you don't know much about it are you able to tell anything based on the pictures that are displayed on the screen well let me know refresh your brains or widen your knowledge about this diet related health problem focus points in today's session we look at an overview of iron deficiency anemia we'll also look at the causes who is most at risk signs and symptoms of iron deficiency anemia and also how one can prevent anemia. anemia occurs when there is inadequate amount of red blood cells in the blood now based on this image here you can see both with comparison with both diagrams you see one has normal red blood cells and the other has less amount of red blood cells right now the normal red blood cells would represent someone's uh, blood who had who doesn't have the condition of iron deficiency anemia right while the other diagram would showcase the amount of red blood cells that is found in the blood of someone who is anemic now let us continue Iron deficiency anemia is the most common type of anemia, right? That simply means there are different types, one such as megaballistic anemia. This is where the red blood cells enlarge. However, we're not looking at that today, so we're going to proceed. Now, it occurs, iron deficiency anemia occurs when your body doesn't have enough of the mineral iron. And as you can see, the images the image displayed on your screen these are foods that are rich in iron but as we move on in today's session we'll explore the different types of food some more and and what will aid in the absorption of iron in the body now your body needs iron to make a protein called hemoglobin this protein is responsible for carrying oxygen to your body's tissues which is essential for tissues and muscles to function effectively now imagine there's no oxygenating blood ox oxygenated blood reaching the heart's muscle what can happen hmm? the person can have a heart attack but when we're looking at cardiovascular diseases will zoom into details on how the blood lack of blood or anemia may contribute to someone having a heart attack or other cardiovascular diseases good now checkpoint you should be able to describe the condition of iron deficiency anemia when someone has anemia what iron deficiency anemia what exactly is happening to their body are you able to describe the condition based on what we just discussed awesome now 
what is the main cause of iron deficiency anemia? You got it right. Now, we're going to move on to some more additional causes of iron deficiency anemia, right? So, as you can see on the diagram here, we have deficient iron intake, good? Deficient iron intake, which simply means that the person or persons may not consuming as much foods that are rich in the mineral iron. Awesome. Now, we look at lack of absorption. Lack of absorption may occur if the person is, yes, they're consuming the iron rich foods, but guess what? They're also consuming other foods which inhibit or prevent the iron from absorbing. Good? So, one, they may, may or may not take in the iron rich foods, but when it comes on to the absorption, the body may not be able to use this particular iron in the, in the form which they consume it, or they may consume in another food product with the iron rich food that prevents it from absorbing. Now, let us look at the next one. So we have blood loss due to specific health conditions. So maybe during pregnancy and child's birth, persons may got, get an injury, persons may, may get injured and then you realize that they lose a lot of blood, right? Good. Now, also uh, menstruation during like monthly periods for, for females, right? So it is very important for us to understand these causes so that they can be controlled or prevented. Now, we mentioned er pregnancy earlier where we say increased requirement during pregnancy. Now that the mother is catering for a child, she should have adequate amount of iron supply or the mineral iron in her blood so that mother and baby can both be healthy. Good. Now we speak of sudden loss of blood due to injury or excessive intakes of polyphenols. Now, polyphenols are substances which inhibit the absorption of iron. Good job, guys. Now, let us move on. Who is at risk for iron deficiency anemia? In terms of gender, who do you think is more at risk? Do you think females are more at risk or do you think that males are more at risk, right? And if you think males are more at risk or females are more at risk, can you tell me why? Awesome. Now, let us look at all the persons who are at risk. So, on the first on our list, we have women of childbearing age age good so we have pregnant women people with poor diets people who don't need blood frequently infants and children especially those who were born prematurely or those who are experiencing a growth spurt spurt so you may find out that rapid growth is taking place but there is not enough of the mineral iron to supply the body of these it infants or children right so also persons who are at risk we speak of vegetarians who don't replace meat with other iron rich sources because you know that for in terms of the sources of iron meat consists of heme iron sources which simply means that it is higher you get a higher content of iron from meat sources than those of the plant sources so let's take the list from the top again so we speak of women of child bearing age. So these persons have their monthly menstruals. Therefore, on a monthly basis, um, they will lose blood. And not only women of child bearing age, we're speaking of teenagers as well, right? Adolescents, right? So these persons on a monthly basis will lose some amount of blood. Some persons more than the other, right? We also, pregnant women, we also speak of as they are also catering 
for a developing fetus, right? Or baby, good. Now, people with poor diets, persons who are not consuming as much foods as are rich in iron, and also no vitamin C to aid in the absorption, and also just persons who are consuming the, the diet but not they don't understand how these nutrients work together in aiding each other's absorption, right? And we speak of infants and children, right? Those who are born prematurely, prematurely born in, being born before the nine months, or those who are growing rapidly. And we also speak of that it is important for vegetarians to, may, they may have to take iron supplements to re to replace the rich source that they're losing out from the meat, right? So persons who are vegetarians will have to replace meat with other iron-rich foods. Food, sorry, yes, they can get it from vegetables, but they may also need to take additional supplements so that they can have adequate amount of iron. Good. Now, let us look at some of the symptoms of that persons experience if they are anemic. So the first one we look at here is tiredness, weakness, pale skin, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, chest pain, dizziness, cold hands and feet. Now that we know what is iron deficiency anemia and also the causes, who is at risk, it is very important for us to look at the prevention, right? So the risk of iron deficiency anemia may be reduced by choosing iron rich foods. Now foods rich in iron include red meat, pork, poultry, seafood, beans, dark green leafy vegetables such as spinach or callaloo, dried fruits such as raisins and apricots, iron fortified cereals, breads, pastas, and also peas. Now, your body absorbs more iron from meat than it does from other sources. If someone chooses not to eat meat, they may need to increase their intake of iron-rich plant-based foods to absorb the same amount of iron as someone who eats meat. Now, choose foods containing vitamin C to enhance the absorption of iron. Very important. You can enhance your body's absorption of iron by drinking citrus juices or eating other foods rich in vitamin C at the same time that you eat iron rich foods no vitamin c in citrus juices like orange juice helps your body to better absorb dietary iron awesome now let us look at some vitamin c rich sources they are also in broccoli grapefruit kiwi melons oranges peppers strawberries tangerines and tomatoes now let us look at how we can also prevent iron deficiency anemia in infants good very importantly important to prevent iron deficiency anemia in infants babies must be fed breast milk or iron fortified formula for the first year cow's milk isn't a good source of iron for babies and isn't recommended for infants under one year. Now, between the ages of four and six months, babies can be fed with iron fortified cereals or parade meats at least twice a day to boost their iron intake. Now we're at the end of today's session you should be able to define iron deficiency anemia. State three causes of iron deficiency anemia. List four persons who are at risk for iron deficiency anemia. And also, 
list four symptoms of iron deficiency anemia and most importantly to outline three ways for preventing an iron deficiency so you've made it to the end of the video but guys don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you can be notified when there's another upload also very importantly please share with persons who you know will find this information useful thank you for making it various tutorials